Welcome to this Excel quickie here. I'm going to show you how to convert time into minutes in Excel, and it is annoyingly simple. So here we have time. This represents two hours and 30 minutes. And I'll show you how I got that format in a moment, but let's convert it to minutes first. Super simple. All you do is multiply it by the hours in the day and the minutes in an hour, and that gets you minutes from time. So if I'm typing it out, equals the cell with the time times 24 hours in a day times 60 minutes in an hour. And of course, if you wanted to get seconds, you could continue that calculation. Now you may see it online sometimes as 1440. So this cell here times 1440. Well, if we go equals, and don't worry about the zeros, we'll fix that in a moment equals 24 times 60, we get 1440. So that's the total minutes in a day. But now let's go ahead and fix this because we don't want zeros, we want minutes. But the problem is that this was formatted in the same format as this. So Excel is a little bit confused. So select the cell, go to the Home tab, and you can see the format is currently custom. It's the time format. Go down here and you can do general or number. I prefer general. And now we have 150 minutes. Now, if you have a time value, but Excel doesn't output it that way in this format, let's clarify that real quick. Go here and hit control one or right click format cells. We have the format cells window. You have custom tab and you have HMM, so hours and minutes. That's how we got this format here. It could be in one of many different formats. You could have the seconds on it, AM, PM if you're in the US. You could have all different kinds of formats. But what's important is that Excel has an actual time value. So if we turn this into a general format, you're going to see a decimal. This is how Excel stores time. Not going to get into it too much. It can be confusing very quickly. But the point is, this is the percentage of a day. So that's how we get minutes by multiplying it times 1440. So 10.4% of 1440 is 150. So you could think of time 1, if this was 1, as an entire day. So if we had 24 hours, let's go like this, one, then we get 1440. If it is half of a day, it is like that. Now let's format this once again, and we will get a time format. All right, let's go to the time category. There we go. 12 hours. So times in Excel can be very confusing very quickly. Let's keep it simple. I'm going to go back to how we had it. Okay. 230. Now, real quick before I go, let's say that you had minutes and you wanted to go to time. Easy peasy. We just reverse the calculation that we just did. So the cell with the minutes divided by the hours in a day, divided by the minutes in an hour, and then change the formatting to be the correct formatting, and that's how you get it. So that's all there is to converting time to minutes in Excel.